Hey there everybody, this is 22TigerDude here and I'm here to review Gringo. So Gringo is directed by Nash Edgerton. The film stars David Oyelowo, Joel Edgerton, Charlize Theron, Charlotte Copley, and Amanda Seyfried. So Gringo tells a story of this businessman who works for this company that's involved with creating some kind of weed pill and he gets screwed over by his very mean-spirited bosses and so because of Harold getting screwed over he now finds himself as a wanted criminal. So Gringo is a film I was actually really interested in. I really liked the trailer for this film. I thought the trailer was very funny. I think the premise, while it may have been a little bender done that, I think execution wise it looked really interesting. And I love the cast too. I'm honestly a fan of everyone here. I'm a big fan of David Oyelowo, I'm a big fan of Charlize Theron, uh, jo Joel Edgerton, Charlotte Copley, Amanda Seyfried, and Nash Edgerton, who is actually Joel Edgerton's brother, is the director of this film, and I don't think I've seen him really direct or do anything else, so I really was definitely interested to see how he can handle this, and coming out of Gringo, did I like this movie? <sighs> Not really. I honestly didn't like Gringo. I was really disappointed with this film and it's a shame because when I watched the trailer I thought it was going to be this funny film and when you look at what genre this film is in it is under the comedy genre watching this film I really didn't feel that it's supposed to be a dark comedy but even that I really don't know about that because for me in my eyes this movie played more as a drama with comedic moments that would happen once in a while but there are things I did like about Gringo and I will say David Oyelowo is great in this film he is by far the best thing about this film he has his comedic moments like this film definitely does show even though I wish there were more comedic moments with David Oyelowo. Some of the funniest moments when the film did actually have comedy uh, absolutely involved David Oyelowo. He was really funny. He really got into his character. And you could tell he was having a lot of fun. And even in the more dramatic moments, as expected, he was really great when it came to that. Everyone else, let me just say, is really good here. But he's definitely the standout for me. Charlize Theron and Joel Edgerton, they did a very good job. They were very good. Their performances were not the problem. They had to do what the script told them to do. And for what they had to do, they honestly did very well. They delivered their lines very well. They acted very well. You could tell they both got su sucked into their characters, especially Charlize Theron. Charlize Theron, oh my god, she was eating up this role. And even though I don't like her character, I will say uh, there were maybe one or two scenes, I'll say maybe two scenes with her, that did actually get a laugh out of me. You have Charlotte Copley, not in this film as much as I would have liked, to be honest, but when he is on screen, especially once he meets up with David Oyelowo's character, Harold, he was very entertaining. He's very enjoyable. I mean, Charlotte Copley, he could be in a not-so-good movie, this being one of them, in my opinion, and he could still really get into the role and... It's no different here. The rest of the performances in this film aren't too bad either, but the final performance I do really have to bring up is Amanda Seyfried. I thought she was really good here, and not to mention that I did really like her character. When it comes to characters I really liked, I really liked Harold. I thought he was a very likable character, and I really liked Amanda Seyfried. I thought she was a very likable character, um, and I really enjoyed that one scene where her and Harold were talking to each other. That's actually one of my more favorite scenes. I, I thought that was very well done. The comedy uh, once in a while was actually very funny. Like, when this movie really aims for comedy, it works. Except for the moments when we cut to Charlie Theron and Joel Edgerton's character. Besides for a couple of moments with Charlie Theron, the majority of the moments with her or him really did not make me laugh and rubbed me off the wrong way. But the moments with like say David Oyelowo, I thought were really funny. And Nash Edgerton, I will say, uh, his direction was sometimes pretty good. Um, I thought he had some pretty interesting camera work. Cinematography at times, I thought, looked 
pretty good. And the scenes with Harold and Charlotte Copley's character uh, were really enjoyable. I really liked those scenes a lot. The problem is that we just don't get enough scenes with them, but I did really like those moments. Now for my problems with Gringo. And my biggest problem with Gringo is that not only is this movie just so boring, but it is so tonally confused on what it wants to do. The trailer makes you think this is going to be a straight up comedy with action, even dramatic moments to it. It was going to be a blend of all of that. And watching the movie, it really did not feel much like a comedy. Sure, there's moments where they attempt at humor, but the majority of this movie is like this crime drama film. Like it felt more dramatic than comedic in my opinion. And it focuses on all of these subplots, like with the cartel and the assassin. Like it focuses is on so many things and it's gotten to the point where I felt the movie was so jumpy. This movie jumps at so many parts and there were times where my head was actually hurting a little bit because I'm like, okay, what? Okay, now we're there. Now it, it jumps everywhere. This movie has no idea what to do. The script is so all over the place and that same thing goes, goes to Nash Edgerton's direction. Unfortunately, I didn't think his direction was all that good for the most part. And I don't know if it's because of how messy the script is, but along with the messy script, his direction did feel very messy. And to get back into my point about the film being very boring, oh my goodness. I thought this film was never going to end because it drags, especially in the first half. The first half in particular for me drags on and on. The second half, I will say, it doesn't drag as much as the first half. The second half of the film is definitely a little bit more interesting than the first half, but even the second half is still pretty dull. It's just not as dull as the first half, but man, this film really does not have good pacing to it. And it's ironic considering how much goes on with all of these subplots, but yet even with so much going on, I still found myself so bored just watching this film. And the scenes I really just did not like were the scenes with Charlie Theron and Joel Edgerton. Like anytime the film just cuts to those scenes, I'm all like, okay, even though I'm not liking this film, can we at least cut back to Charlotte Copley or David O. Yellow, especially him, and uh, even Amanda Seyfried, because I liked her character. But man, I did not enjoy those scenes with Joel Edgerton and Char Charlie Theron. And that should be the next point I should bring up is the characters. This movie has way too many unlikable characters. The characters that are act that are actually likable do not get enough screen time. Amanda Seyfried, uh, she is really good here, but they don't really use her character to her fullest potential. They waste her character, honestly. Um, and she didn't really serve much of a purpose to the story. Charlotte Copley, he was an interesting character too. I will say I even enjoyed him too as a character, but they don't really focus on him enough. Yet this film feels the need to focus on characters I really could not stand. The characters I find unlikable get more screen time and the characters I find really likable do not get that much screen time, except for obviously David Oyelowo because, you know, he's the star of this film. And with a premise like this, with Harold crossing the border, I think this is something that should have been simple. Like, I think if they made this movie be simple, not add all of these things. If they just stuck to one thing and plus just stuck to making it a dark comedy or comedy, then I think this movie could have been better, but it overcomplicates itself big time. And as I was watching the film, I just got more confused. And by the time the film does hit to that third act, that final act, even though the action is pretty good, uh, the action scenes in general, whenever they are in the film, are actually pretty well shot. Uh, and they can be a little bit intense too, I'll give it that much credit. But it gets really convoluted in the third act. And by the time the film ends, I'm just sitting there with the biggest 
why not to mention it just feels really abrupt like it just goes in this direction this is where the film ends it cuts to the end credits and that was your movie right there and i'm just sitting there with the biggest okay that happened that was a thing and i did feel like the cinematography most of the time was very stale while it did have its very good looking shots like some shots were pretty impressive but I did feel like most of the time it was honestly pretty bland in terms of how it was shot. There wasn't much of an interesting style to the movie. So even the style of the film just couldn't appeal to me that much. Overall, Gringo is a very messy and just a very forgettable film. This is a mediocre movie and it really disappoints me saying that because I thought this film had so much potential to just be a simple, fun, crazy comedy, but it's more of this crime drama and it's not even an interesting crime drama. Nothing regarding the cartel or any of the other subplots were very interesting to me. It's just a very dull crime drama film that has its comedic elements sprinkled into it but not throughout when it has likable characters yes i'm enjoying it but when it focuses on the unlikable characters and there's more unlikable than likable yeah, I'm not really enjoying this film. I did not have a good time watching it. Honestly, uh, it was a wasted opportunity. I even think Nash Edgerton's direction wasn't all that impressive besides for some moments. The movie overcomplicates itself when it really did not need to overcomplicate itself. It is really boring, especially in the first half. And the writing is just so bland. It's so disengaging. The dialogue at points is not very well written. And I just felt so so unsatisfied by the time the film ended like this movie rubbed me the wrong way to be honest and i don't think a movie that is quote unquote a comedy should really do that i'm going to give gringo two out of four stars so everybody in the comments down below let me know what did you think about gringo this is 20 to tiger dude here and don't forget that i will always have Tiger power!